What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. It is the beginning of the 2023 lobster season. But before we get started, I got to give a huge shout out to Bouge RV for sponsoring this video. Now Beachy herself has only ever done one lobster season before and she wasn't with the Arrington crew. So it wasn't like it's going to be tomorrow. So the kids have been with their mom and Ronnie for the last week and a half while we were in Louisiana. They're coming here this afternoon to meet up with us and they're going to lobster with us for the next two days. But today we've been out scouting and today I want to show you about a new product that's going to change the way Beachy and I have been doing what we're doing. So a lot of you know that we do a lot of catch cleaning cooks all over the place, but we never really go off the grid. Guess what? Bouge RV is going to allow us to start going off the grid with these awesome new solar panels. And you know we're going to make something really good in just a second with this blender. So before we get started making something in that blender, I want to tell you a little bit more about this. This is the Yuma 100. Here's the awesome part about that. Look, you can literally walk on these things and not break them. They're glass free, they're crack resistant, and they're absolutely amazing. Bouge offers two different kinds of these solar panels in a bunch of different sizes. One has an adhesive on it that will stick to literally anything, almost every kind of material. And then you have the one that I have here that has little pre-drilled holes in it all the way around it. So if we wanted to, we could actually throw it up on the bimini top, whatever we want. And right now this thing is super hot, cranking out some serious power into the Bouge RV power pack, which is going to change the way we do everything, not just with the blender. We can now take this thing and go catfishing up on the Kissimmee River. We can charge our GoPro batteries. It's just gonna do everything that we need to do when it comes to off the grid camping videos. So the power packs are super easy to charge. Even if you don't wanna use the solar panels, you can plug it to the wall in your house or you can plug it into your truck. Or like you can see what we're doing now, you can charge it with the solar panel. And that's really what is changing the game for us. It's just how cool these things are. Wrap them up 360. Put it in your truck, put it underneath the seat of your truck, put it in the boat, whatever you want to do. These things are awesome. So one of the biggest selling points for me when it came to Bouge RV and these solar panels was the tie downs. We actually got some with the adhesive on it and that's great if you're on a boat where you're going to stay on all the time, but we have four boats and we're going to be taking all four boats camping. So with these right here with the tie downs, you can tie them to anything. They're not going anywhere. If a summer storm blows up or if something happens, if I need to move the boat to get out of the way really quick, you can tie them down. Curved surfaces don't matter. You can literally step on them. They're not going to break and they're not going to stop charging while they're there. We need something to cool our pallet. It is so hot down in the Keys right now. These are fresh mangoes that we cut off my dad's tree. A little bit of Simply Lemonade. The coolest thing about these power packs and this solar panel is this blender right here doesn't even draw it down. It's a small world. This boat just come by us and there were some people that I grew up with I haven't seen in forever. Dude, that looks so good. Try it, babe. Mm. That's delicious. Are you excited to do some off-grid camping? You know that's what I've been begging you to do. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, this can we wait till it cools down though? To bring an air conditioner just for you. At least oh, a fan. That will definitely run an air conditioner. So babe, tell us a little bit more about the Bouge RV. So these Yuma solar panels are equipped with CIGS technology, which is actually new to the current solar panel market. These are gonna dominate the solar panel industry. Y'all heard it here first, folks. Check out Bouge RV. And if you're interested in ordering one, head to the link in the description below this video and click on the link. You guys, we have been blessed with weather for the last two weeks, really three weeks in all of our videos. That was just amazing, but not today. It's opening day of the 2023 lobster season and it's nasty. Not only is the weather bad, we got a bunch of big storms rolling through, but the water is almost zero visibility. We got Jake and we got Luke. We got Beachy and this is her first time. We're gonna get in the water. We're really probably not gonna be able to see anything. We'll have to do it mostly by hand. And I'm gonna end up way down there and real shallow and pray it's clear enough to film. So there's a coral head right under my boat. We're gonna get in and check it out. I will put the camera on my head, but I'm not making any promises. 
Here goes nothing. Gauge them, Jake. Get you some gloves on, gauge them, and put them in the well. I know they're both legal, though. Don't put anything in there, Luke, until it's gauged. Jake, right here. Come here. There's a gauge hanging. You see that? They hate coming out of this hole because they have so much of a cavity in there. That one. How about that visibility? What visibility? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right, folks, we're seven in. We've got a bunch more to go. Hopefully I can find a little bit clearer water and a little bit easier hole to catch them in. I've got a ton of spots, so I'm sure we will. Woo. This water is bad, folks. I've never had a lobster season where it's so dirty. But we're parked on about a hundred keeper lobster. And we're slowly working on it. Jake's gonna just keep rolling the camera. He's in the boat measuring him. He's been sick for a week and he's clogged up so he can't dive. So he's the cameraman. Where's Pinky? You get one? No. Oh no. I'm gonna go down. Right Alright, I'm going down. So dirty I can't even tell which ones are keepers or which ones are shorts. Had to catch him by hand. how big this one is. Oh, this is the biggest one of the day. What? Baby sharky doo dee doo. Let me see him. Your dad's caught a grouper and a shark by hand today. Can I hold him? I'll put him in the boat. I don't want him to bite you. Something bit me right there. <coughs> Crystal, I oh, see something you. bit me right there. Did you crab get you? No. Then you better walk 
This weather just keeps kicking our butts. It's now blowing about 25 straight out of the east. We got Crystal, Luke, and Jake, and we just came in here shallow to try to get Luke his own lobsters. He helps us when we're out there so he can legally keep his limit. He's up and down grabbing the nets. He's actually, you know, about 80% catching them on his own, but he's participating. And here he can catch one completely on his own. What a day. For a long time straight now, I've been blessed with great weather and amazing fishing. And today we have amazing fishing, just not amazing weather. We're gonna cook up something super special tonight though to make this video even that much better. I can't predict the wind, I can't predict the rain, but I can predict what I'm gonna cook for dinner. Something new and awesome I wanna tell you about is this new power pole trolling motor. When we were out there about three miles, it was actually really, really rough. Dude, this thing wasn't even struggling. It keeps you pinned down. That's a game changer. You got one, Luke? Get down there and manhandle him. That boy is determined. Poor Jake's been sick for about a week, which pretty much all of us have. I was sick all last week in Louisiana. He's got it now, but he's trying. You got you a big old shell? That's pretty neat. If you're wondering how hard it's blowing, We're sitting still, remember. <laughs> She's getting the frog togs on. That's her brand new FTX frog tog suit. She loves it. These things are sick. I really, really love them. Y'all have fun? Yeah. You ready to go back and cook something good? I am. Some Look. of those holes were so deep, you'd stick your whole body in there and they still go back. That was gnarly. Yeah. How does my hair look? I I'm not gonna lie and just no comment. It, it sort of looks like, you know how a mockingbird builds a nest in an oak tree? Sort there's of, stuff in it. Yeah, that's what, there's stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm growing trees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's for real. <laughs> it is a heck of a lot nicer in here in the canal. So I got to give Crystal credit right now. She doesn't know what I'm about to say. She has no idea what's about to come out of my mouth, but I'm going to give her probably the best compliment she could ever receive. Babe, you ready for it? In all my years of lobstering and taking a lot of people for the first time, you did the best I've ever seen anybody do, ever. You guys, there was zero visibility. No, I am not. Everybody knows me knows I would not just say that. Zero visibility. The lobsters wouldn't really tickle out of the hole. I did get some to come out. But she had to reach in there and catch them by hand, knowing there's eels and all kinds of stuff that could bite you and poke you. Babe, I'm giving you 100% credit. Thank you. That was the best I've ever seen anybody, anybody do. I have a lot of friends that still can't do what she did. And that's saying something. It was extremely satisfying when you, like, you grab them and you're like, crap, I don't have them, like, all the way. And then all of a sudden, like, you're like, got them. And then they start wiggling out because... A couple of times I couldn't pull them out like they were too big. Like the lobster was too big and this hole was too small. But then, like, when he actually came out, it was a cool feeling. Did y'all limit out? Yeah. This boat would not have came back to the dock without its limit. I'm here to tell you. One thing my dad instilled in us three boys as we were growing up is the boat did not come back without its limit of lobster. When we were young, we would be diving the seven mile or the three mile bridge in raging current. So tired, all we could think about was a yoo-hoo and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and taking a nap on the boat. We weren't allowed until we got our limit. So I'm just carrying on a tradition. Beachy, we only do one day for three hours. I'm tired. I'll be back later. <laughs> you guys, I gotta wake her up. We got things to do. Who's ready for some lobster mac and cheese? I am. I am. 
Have y'all caught anything? Y'all, that's Madison right there. If you follow along, you've seen her plenty of times. Their family stays down here in the Keys this time of the year too. And I just brought the kids over about an hour and a half ago and they've been playing. Luke, have you caught anything? Y'all, we got to go eat dinner. You coming? You better. You ready, Jake? I'm ready. Are you feeling sick still? A little bit. Oh, there's but tears in some part. We're fishing. You got a bunch of fish chummed up down there, Luke. They're tearing this apart. All right, we got to go eat. Let's roll. So pretty much everywhere I go, I always take a few extra Danko knives to give to somebody special. And you see this young man right here? What's your name? Gavin. Gavin. He just came up and was so polite. We're here at our friend's house. A bunch of people from Jupiter rent this like compound right here. And I bring the kids over or their kids come to our place and just let them all hang out. So I came to pick him up. What you think about that? That looks cool. Listen, you cannot cut yourself okay. though. Your dad will disown me. Okay. You good with that? It's all yours. Okay. But I want you to make sure your dad always knows if you're using it. Okay. What are we waiting on? Nothing. Fixing that hair. All right, they've cleaned the pile of them, but they got three left and they left them for us, folks. Show us how it's done. How do you keep from getting your hair all up in the lobster slime? You just don't. You just don't keep it out? Nope. I can't believe your dad's letting you clean lobster blood over that. Oh my goodness. How? If I do one little thing wrong here, I get yelled at, but she, look, y'all look at it. See all that lobster blood right there? It's gonna turn purple and you couldn't get it off with bleach. And he even lets you use his brand new silver stag lobster. Where did he, this is favoritism. A knife? All you gotta be is a pretty girl around here to get, you know, treated like a queen. Look at that tool right there. I That's the poop shoot. That yeah, I, I yeah. that in a Oh man, I would not want that. That's like a really rough colonoscopy. <laughs> this kid right here has been non-stop. How many spider crabs do you think you've caught? A dozen? Like three. No, you've caught more than that. You got a bunch of little baby lobster over here. Yeah. I could try to catch them over around the real on the other side. Right there, a bunch of lobster right there, but they're too small. Luke, you need to hook our dive flag that flew off. We've had some bad storms today and it blew our dive flag in the water. folks at home you're about to see our first attempt ever at lobster mac and cheese and my lord have mercy does that look good so here's what we did folks this is Marcy and that's Vicki they're the ones who made it I'm not taking any credit they put all kinds of stuff and steps you started with butter flour seasonings and cheese a lot of love went into this yeah, Babe, the mac and cheese is done. No way. Oh yeah, we gotta let it cool off. Look at these, I mean, the kids are just starving. Let, let, y'all haven't seen much of our personal life lately. What y'all watching out here? A little bit of old Blue Gobby? Just the one who's watching. Blue Gobby. Y'all know the mac and cheese is ready, right? I didn't know that. It's ready. Y'all, this is Marcy again. I'm gonna reintroduce hey, her. She's like my sister from another mother. <laughs> Except for she's the pain in the butt in this relationship, not me. That's not true at all. Is that true, it's babe? Sister from another mister. A sister from another See, mister. See, there we go, guys. <laughs> Man, that looks good. I'm excited. Dude. And we got to give a huge shout out to Jake because he's who requested lobster mac and cheese. Yep. So I did saute the lobster and add that in here. That's one thing that I forgot to say. I sauteed it in just a cast iron skillet with some butter. Didn't cook it, but about three quarters of the way through. So it wasn't right. tough. Vicky oh, did the rest. Good. All I did was a lobster. What did we do, about 20 minutes? About 20 minutes at 350. And then we broiled it for about two minutes and she videoed Marcy and I staring at the, <laughs> you put that we didn't want to burn it. <laughs> All right, come on kids, tell us how we did. what you think?
One out of a ten. What is it? Ten. I'll give it about. That's really good. A eight point five out of ten. What? What you think, babe? You very good. Lobster. Yeah, very, very it's really good. good. It looks dang sure good. Nice and cheesy. That's it, folks. That's our opening day of the 2023 lobster season. Right now, though, it's 9.45 at night. I'm going to have to edit all night long to get this video up for y'all to watch. No big deal. I'll do it, and we'll get up in lobster again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Huge shout-out to Bouge RV for sponsoring this video. We'll catch y'all in the next one.